Hey, now after you done read that title and you done seen that thumbnail, right? You know what we're doing. Today I'm finna show you how to do an extremely creamy, over the top mac and cheese. And guess what, folks? It's right out of this cookbook. Let's get it. Okay, look, so we got our mac, right? It's already going, you know, boiling. Now what you wanna do is you wanna set up your oven, you wanna preheat it, right? Look, it's 325 degrees, folks. That's what we're using. Let me go ahead and start it, and we'll get that going. Okay, so look, I've already taken this one out of the uh, packaging, right? This is key. I'm sure by now it looks like everybody on YouTube is saying stuff like, hey, you gotta use your own cheese, you know, shred your own cheese. Look, because it doesn't have that, you know, that waxy film on there that you buy when it's pre-generated, right? So we're gonna go like this. You're gonna get one pound. And this is a two pound block. I just wanna do half of it. And just to keep it real simple, I'm gonna make a little notch. What I think look like about half, like that. And that's where I'm gonna go all the way up to there. We'll just get this Monterey Jack going. Now I'll go ahead and start with this cheese, right? Now, I wanna say this right before we even get started. If you look and you saw all the ingredients we had, listen, 2.7 million people will tell you that this was really, really fire and they make it all the time, right? Don't let the lack of ingredients, you know, fool you. Okay, so look, now that we didn't shredded some cheese, right? I'm gonna go ahead and start with my butter. One thing I can tell you, listen, I didn't say nothing this time. You guys can put butter, I mean, uh, bacon fat in the inside. Just put a couple of tablespoons of bacon fat and then probably put one tablespoon of butter. That works, you know, either or. I don't have any ta uh, bacon fat right now, so I went ahead and used butter. So let me get this melted. And what we get ready to do is we get ready to make a roux. Okay, now that it's melted, now we're gonna start and come in with our, you know, our flour, right? So I just add a little bit in. Remember, a little bit in at a time, folks. So once we got it, you know, the raw flour uh, uh, taste taken out, I figure it takes about like one minute or whatever. Then we go ahead and start adding, you know, our milk. So once you see how it starts to look like this, then I go ahead and add my second cup, right? We just put it in a little bit at a time. Best to do it like this, because it's gonna thicken up once we start adding the cheese, right? This right here is gonna be a nice cheese sauce. Oh, and did I say it's gonna be a creamy mac and cheese? Okay, so now that we got that incorporated, look, now I'm gonna go ahead and just start introducing my cheese. I put it in, there's no particular way you gotta put it in. You can go light, then dark. You can go all light, all dark. It doesn't make a difference. You just wanna get it in there and you wanna make sure it incorporates, right? So check it out. You just wanna keep it moving, just like you see. Right? Just keep working it, keep whisking it. As it heats up, it'll just dissipate. You're gonna get your color from this cheddar. All right, so look, once you get it all together, look at that right there. This is your cheese sauce, folks, right? Now, let me move this, let me get set up. Okay, so look, now this is the real level up, folks. It's the Creole kick. This is the flavor that just sends it over the top. Now, some of you guys are gonna ask, can you add it, you know, can you add it to the uh, sauce? You can, once you got it to the consistency you want, you just add it. But for me, I taste it. I like to put at least a tablespoon in, but I wanna mix it like this. Make sure it's throughout. Okay, so look, here you go, folks. You guys can look, this is what I'm talking about. This right here, listen, we didn't already sample it and know it's great right here at this stage, but we wanna put this over the top and then we are gonna bake, right? So I'll come with that Monterey right over the top like this. You don't need a whole lot. Just a little bit of that Monterey and then we are gonna top a little bit. You know, with our, we are gonna put that last top in the cheese. That's gonna be that cheddar. This is what's gonna give it that color again, folks. 
I want you guys to let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I want you guys to become part of the fan base of this mac and cheese. Okay, so look, this is what it looks like. It's ready to go, right? All I gotta do is put a piece of aluminum foil over the top, put it in our preheated oven at 325 degrees. We are gonna go 25 minutes, real simple. And here you go, folks. Put that there like that. Bring this over here like this. And that's that million dollar right there. All right, so you guys see what it looked like. You know, it, it matches that, and then look, when you look at this right here, that's because I left it in the oven longer, right? So if you wanted to have more of a dark texture, more like that, just leave it in there uncovered and cook it longer. But right now, I can just tell you where you saw it is, and the way I was like scooping it up and all of that is fire. Now I gotta hurry up and go ahead and get, get uh, do my taste test on camera, because now I gotta keep these people from behind this camera, you know, from getting in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in like this. You see that right there? When I say cheese and creamy, that's what I mean, folks. Look at that. Mm. Anyway, cheers. <laughs> what can I say, folks? It's fire. Look. It's the real cheese, it's the cheese sauce. It goes down to that roux, but check it out. Without this right here, this right here is what leveled it up on that flavor. Now, if you guys don't have this, use your own Creole seasoning or, you know, a Cajun seasoning that you put in there. And I gotta say you this, I know we got them fried cheeses and all of that out here. Look, this right here is fire. You don't believe me? You can go back and get yourself a reference. With that being said, I'm gonna quit holding these people up on. I'm just stalling right now. Hey, I just wanna say thank you for you, know, you guys watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.